Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whichever applies to you. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Julia. I'm a contemporary singing specialist based in Australia. And today I'm going to be reacting to Disturbed covering The Sound of Silence. Now, I'm fairly certain Australian radio played this version when it first like became really popular, but I personally don't really listen to the radio. I kind of have my own personal listening collection. So I'm more familiar with the Simon and Garfunkel version, if I'm being completely honest, which to me is really stripped back and soft. So I'm kind of looking forward to seeing how someone else covers it because I've heard other covers and I always wind up going back to the Simon and Garfunkel version. So we'll just, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm super keen because you guys have been like absolutely hammering for this react. So let's, let's, let's just dive in. Please welcome Disturbed. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again because a vision softly creeping left it seems while I was sleeping and the vision that was planted in my brain still remains within the sound of silence in restless dreams I walked alone Narrow streets of cobblestone Neath the halo of a street lamp I turned my collar to cold and damp When my eyes were stared By the flash of a neon light That split in the night Touch the sound of silence. I couldn't get over his eyes. His connection with his lyric shows up in his eyes. It almost made me start crying, to be honest, because it's like he's seen things he can't unsee. And connecting that with the beautiful warmth and richness of his tone. It's creating a different atmosphere to what I would normally associate with this song because obviously Simon and Garfunkel, they sing quite high. There's quite a light timbre to their voices. And yet he's got this warmth, richness. It's almost like there's a grounded feeling. I don't, I don't know how else to describe it. It just gives me a different feeling to the original version. And I can't decide which I like better. I I kind of think I'm leaning towards his version. Oh my God, did I just say that? Uh, on top of this beautiful, rich tone that he's got going, he's just sitting perfectly onto his low notes. He's not reaching for them. Whenever you reach for a low note, that gives it an opportunity for it not to come together properly. It will not sound quite as clean or as rich as the way he's singing them because he's just landing on those low notes. The voice has the opportunity to resonate. It's in balance with everything else that he's making. And then when he starts to ascend in his registration, the vowel choices that he's making are simply beautiful. It's keeping everything perfectly in balance. I was not expecting this. And it, let's, let's just keep going. It's split in the night And touch the sound of silence and in the naked light I saw Ten thousand people, maybe more People talking without speaking People hearing without listening People writing Of silence for said I you do not know silence like a cancer grows hear my words and I Echoed in the wells of silence. 
was fantastic. I love it. I love it. When he started to use the distortion, it met the necessity of the lyrical content to a degree that I don't actually get from the original. I still will love the original to absolute death. I kind of feel like the harshness of the vocals that he was using, and he didn't use a lot of it. He used some distortion on certain lines. It was an overkill. And because there was that beautiful contrast between these, quite frankly, angelic rich notes that he was using in the chorus. When he did use that distortion, it was almost like the warning from this song came through even clearer. What really stood out for me was how connected he was to his lyric. And because the lyrics are really powerful in this song, when he then applied that through his performance, I couldn't snap out of it. It was like listening to something that is vital that you listen to. That's a testament to him as a performer. It's a testament to how he chose to arrange this and the vocal choices that he decided to make. Was it crazy vocal gymnastics? Absolutely not. But the connection and the emotional content of his performance with that song, with these lyrics, with that instrumentation, that was perfect. It felt like a warning. It felt like he was begging us to listen to him. Ay, yay, 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 yay. Ugh. I really enjoyed the vocal choices that he made. His vowel work that he used, where he decided to modify as he was going up to give himself more of a balanced mix as opposed to pushing from his first register and trying to really take up a, a heavier sound. Because it was so balanced, again, as I said earlier, you get that fantastic contrast with his distortion that he uses later. This is exceptional storytelling. I know it might seem like he didn't do much. He's just standing there. What do you mean he's storytelling? The way that he articulated and the decisions that he made vocally, that is storytelling. That is why some singers are more engaging than others. I couldn't take my eyes off him. To be quite frank, the only thing that made me snap out of the sort of magical engagement that he created was that auto-tune. Anyways, this was fantastic. I will definitely be listening to this version again. As I mentioned at the start, I am quite attached to the original version and a lot of the covers kind of fall flat for me. This one just excelled in almost every way that it that it possibly could. This was fantastic. I don't feel like this is a poor imitation of a fabulous song. I feel like this is a song in its new form. And thank you for suggesting this one because I'd heard it like offhand, like when you're at the gym and the radio is playing or like when you're walking through the supermarket and there's something, but you're not really listening to it. I'm glad you guys pushed through and got me to watch this one because this was, this was fantastic. I kind of want to watch it again and hopefully Caption Julia filled in a little bit more on the technical things because I, that concentration of the music speaking, speaking to you, speaking to me rather, that I just didn't want to break that. I, I was too into it. I'm sorry. Um, anyways, that is it for me today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed that. If you did, give this video a like, click the subscribe button and the notification bell beside it for more just like this one. As usual, I hope you're staying safe. I hope you are staying healthy and I will see you next time. Bye. Fool said I you do not know Silence like a cancer grows Hear my words and